League Baseball fans, welcome to the third game of this three-game set at the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Well, tomorrow the missions go home, and after that, the visiting Midland Rockhounds come in, and they play the missions. And most likely, guys, we hope y'all enjoy today's game. It is going to be another rainy day, so you guys might see a rain delay, but we don't know as of yet. Well, get out your scorecards, and we'll present this morning's starting lineups first for the visiting San Antonio Missions. Batting first in the second base position, Roberto Ruiz, Ruiz as second. Batting third is Robert Rodriguez. He'll bat second for San Antonio. Rodriguez at third. Batting third is the left fielder, Bobby Pierre, Pierre at left. Right fielder, Edgar Armis, Armis batting fourth. Batting fifth is the first baseman, Bo Duval. Duval at first. Batting sixth is the designated hitter, Alan Cordoba. Cordoba, the DH. Batting seventh is the center fielder, Art Sutter. Sutter at center. Batting eighth is the catcher, Ronald Clemente. Clemente have the catching duties for San Antonio. Batting ninth is the shortstop, Enrique Herrera. Herrera at short. He rounds out the batting order. Now on the mound for the San Antonio Missions, Manuel Avalas. Avalas, today's missions pitcher. And now, here is the starting lineup for the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Leading off and playing center field, Andreas Benitez. Benitez at first. Henry Tejada will be third. He'll bat second for Northwest Arkansas. Tejada at third. Catching duties go to Graham Lopez. Lopez batting third for the Naturals. Charlie McGregor will bat fourth. He'll be in left field. Tommy Gonzalez will bat fifth for the natural lineup. Gonzalez at first. Joe Robbins will bat sixth for Northwest Arkansas. Robbins as second. Batting seventh is the shortstop, Morris Nobles. Nobles as short. Batting eighth is the right fielder, Rodney Nelson. Nelson at right. Batting ninth and rounding out the batting order for the Northwest Arkansas Naturals is the designated hitter, Terrence Gore. Gore rounding out the batting order. And on the mound for the Northwest Arkansas Naturals, Ronald Perez. Perez, today's Naturals pitcher, and there's your starting lineups. Baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the Double A Texas League. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and the San Antonio Missions. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Manuel Avilas, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. 
Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, this guy has what we call Uncle Charlie. What's that? That's the 12 to 6 curveball. Simply look at your watch and look at the 12 and look at the 6. This guy throws the old school. They call it a straight downer. However you want to call it, a 12 to 6 hook. This guy has one of the best ones in the game right now. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon. 2-0 now. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Standing in now, Henry Tejada, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Mark DeRosa, what's your take on him this afternoon on the road? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods. Just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line the line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. He's set. Here it comes. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Runners on the move for second. Strike taken, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Benitez, the runner at second with one away. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Charlie McGregor. First opportunity for him here with the leadoff man still standing at second. Two gone now. That's in there. Base hit. Benitez rounds the corner and is headed home. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. McGregor takes the turn at third. He wants it all. He will score as it's now a 2-0 ball game. The fans are not happy, and I can't blame them. And inside the parker on that hit, there's simply no excuse for that. And everyone in the ballpark knows it. We'll see if he can shake it off and get out of the top half of this inning. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. The 1-0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. And he takes a called strike two. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down 1-2, three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing him a fourth. Hit out towards second. Ruiz scoops it up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Northwest Arkansas out in front, two to nothing. Ronald Perez, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Digging in, Roberto Ruiz. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit in the air down the right field line. But it drops foul down there in the home bullpen area. Drilled right back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, Robert Rodriguez. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. 
first two batters find a sweet spot, barrel up perfectly. These fans have to be excited. Middle of the order coming to the plate now. After those first two ABs, this could be a laser show. Stepping in now, Bobby Poirier. As he grounds one briskly to short. One there, on to first, and they get the double play. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Well, Matt, this lineup finds themselves down two runs. Nothing crazy. Everyone relax. Stay within the game plan. Find a way to execute and get one run on the board and get back in this. So here's the cleanup hitter, Edgar Armas. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Down the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now a two-to-one ball game. And he'll get in there safely. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there. And the manager wondering how long he's going to go in this one. Into the box, Bo Duvall. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that's in there, base hit. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake defensively came back to factor into that one. Obviously, this is a pitcher's nightmare, but it's a manager's nightmare, too. It's only the first inning either starter has already given up four hits. The last one, an absolute frozen rope. The last thing he wants to do is get someone up in the pen, but he might not have any other choice. Alan Cordoba hits next. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Nelson is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So two runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left. We move ahead to the top of the second now, and we are tied 2-2. Now batting, Joe Robbins, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. There's a strike. Well, that rain is really coming down right now. It's raining cats and dogs. You got to make sure you don't step in a poodle. That's as hard as I've seen it rain all afternoon. Everyone, it's so much harder to concentrate when it rains. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Suter moves over, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And manning the hot corner today is a guy with one of the quickest reactions in the game. That's it at third base. A step and a dive, a little bit of range, but you better be reacting, and you better be able to have some serious hands and a strong arm to get it over the first. And he checks all the boxes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Poirier is there, and he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in, Digging in Rodney, Rodney Nelson. Nelson. First offering on its way. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. The wind up and the 0 1. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. 1-2-3. Suter is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three.
digging in. Art Suter, he'll step in trying to do something about this 2-2 two -two tie. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Roll right back at him, and it hit him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. At the plate, Ronald Clemente. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit on the ground out for short. To his left. No blaze. Pro gets him. Two down. Batting ninth. The Enrique. Now at the plate, Enrique Herrera. From the stretch, here's the pitch. On the ground to third. Tejada is there. Throw on to first. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We played two full, and we are tied 2-2. Striding forward now is the DH, Terrence Gore, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Poirier moves over. He's got it one away. At the plate, Andres Benitez. He reached on a single in his first try. And here's a fastball called for strike one. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. Benitez takes the turn at third. He wants it all. He comes across to score as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Digging in to try it again, Henry Tejada. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Line to the right side. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Boy, there's another base hit, and this is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving, d -roll. Both teams piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitcher's meeting today. Good plan at the plate. A lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Throw over to first, and he's back easily. Tejada, base runner at first with one out. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three fastballs at this level usually turns into a knock. Into the box now, Charlie McGregor, as he'll take a look at ball one. Popped him up. Armas ranging forward. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Strike him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the results that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. High in the air out to center field. 
Souter has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Naturals lead it three to two. Digging in for his second at bat, Roberto Ruiz. He singled his last time up. Roberto Ruiz. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. So that leadoff base hit means considerable speed aboard to start out the inning. Now batting. Third baseman. Robert Rodriguez. Stepping in, Robert Rodriguez, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Into the box now. Bobby Poirier. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. That's lifted the other way out to left. McGregor comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Edgar Armas will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And the runner will score from second. The relay. And he's out trying for third base, but he'll get credit for two RBIs here. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because of an unnecessary risk. He had two all the way, and he clearly should have just been happy with that. Standing in now, Bo Duvall. He swings and lines it to left. McGregor is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the top of inning number four. The missions lead it four to three. Digging in to try it again, Joe Robbins. He flew out in his last at bat. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Now a hard liner. But this is a foul ball. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Armas ranging back. Still ranging back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Wow, there's a case of a ball up in the zone. Not the easiest pitch in the world to get underneath and drive it out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting right there. Ball up in the zone. He didn't miss it. He destroyed it. Morris Nobles will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Line hard. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Stays alive. Still 0-2. No outs. Nobody on. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit one and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again Now another one two Struck him out We know he's probably still thinking about that game tying home run He just gave up, but I'm gonna give him credit for not showing that it bothering him when you come back and strike out the next guy it shows you've still got your head in the right place. No balls in one strike. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. One out, nobody on. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Terrence Gore. First pitch of the at-bat. And that one just missed outside. With two outs, they're not playing him to bunt here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. The 1-1. Fouled away. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knocks things up. Bottom of the fourth coming up. All even now at four apiece. Digging in for his second at-bat, Alan Cordova hit it hard but lined out in his first at-bat. First delivery to him on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Nelson has a beat on it, one down. Stepping in, Suter. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Ready for another chance. Ronald Clemente. He's set, and the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Robbins ranging up the middle. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. We played four full, and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Digging in and looking for more, Andres Benitez. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. And, ooh, looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Poirier is after it, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he will come all the way around to score. Unbelievable. Ready once again, Henry Tejada. He's one for two in the ball game. How frustrating is that, Dan? He tries to bury something in with two strikes, and this guy throws out a fillet of fish to the opposite field. You know, sometimes you have to tip your cap that inside-out swing as a pitcher. You think you've thrown a good pitch, but sometimes as a hitter, they put a good a swing on it and still ends up for a base hit. Number three, Graham Lopez. Riding in once again, Graham Lopez. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. In there, strike one. The windup and the 0 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Poirier is in pursuit and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Charlie. So here's the cleanup hitter, Charlie McGregor. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 0. Hits are even at seven apiece. And that one right down Main Street. Ball and two strikes now. The one two. Popped him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Home half of the fifth coming up. Northwest Arkansas out in front, five to four. Leading off the inning, Enrique Herrera. And they'll need him to get something going here. Enrique 
Herrera. Here's the first pitch to him. Liner towards second. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. It's fair to say that early on, at least, the runs have come in bunches here this afternoon. A high-scoring affair thus far, and we're only in the fifth inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in Roberto Ruiz. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. From the stretch. And now the second pitch of the inning is hit in the air to center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Digging in the switch hitter, Robert Rodriguez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. On the ground up the middle. Nobles fields it cleanly. On to first, and can you believe it? A three-pitch inning, and just like that, the side is retired. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Ready for another shot now, Tommy Gonzalez. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And a fastball just a bit high. Grounder down the line at third. To his right, Rodriguez. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Joe Robbins he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Line toward right center, but this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Digging in once again, Morris Nobles. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. In there, and it's 0-2 now. When you're facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire, I say throw everything out, 0-2, he's sitting fastball. And it's fouled away. In the air to straightaway right. Armas will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Bobby Poirier, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Bobby Poirier. Here it comes. Hot shot on the ground is short. Nobles is up with it. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. The right fielder, number 12, Edgar Armas. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Edgar Armas. He's got a couple of doubles thus far, so we'll see if he can keep it up. He's set. Here it comes. Liner toward right center. And another base hit for him now. Three for three in this one. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. If the result works. Pitcher can't be too many. Stepping in now, Bo Duvall. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. Oh, and the throwback in is a wild one. And the run will score all the way from first. It's now a 5-5 ball game. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, nothing but good things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. Alan Cordoba hits next. Strike one to start the at-bat. No hits to this point. There's a line drive out 
toward the gap in right center. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Center fielder, number one. Now in the box, Art Suter. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. McGregor is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Ronald Clemente. Ronald Clemente. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hit back up the middle. And he'll turn and try the jump throw to first. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through six full. San Antonio's out in front, six to five. Back here for Texas League Baseball on the show. Before we start the seventh, let's pause to take a quick look at how we got here. It's our game summary through the first six innings of play. Leading off the inning, Rodney Nelson. And they'll need him to get something going here. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball right side. Duvall takes it in, and he'll step on first himself for the out. How about it? Striding forward now is the DH, Terrence Gore. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. So a big moment here in standing in, Andres Benitez. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Ball one to start the at-bat. Count even now at one and one. That's and now two. a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. In there for a called strike, three and two now. Gore, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Off-speed pitch, and there is strike three called, and boy, that zone just got a bit larger, two away. How about it? Into the box, Henry Tejada. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. There's a strike. Two out with the man at first. Popped him up. Ruiz has a play, and that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Mark Parsons gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Stepping up now, Enrique Herrera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch on its way. Line toward right center. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball at the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound, and then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half of the baseball with power. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. 
And I think that may have been a situation where the runner on first was waiting to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold it third. Can't really fault him for that, though. In now, Robert Rodriguez as he lines it out to center. Benitez is there. Let's see if they try it. And not in time as the run scores. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Standing in, Bobby Poirier. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit the other way out toward left field. McGregor has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. So one run here on two hits, no errors, and no one left. Eighth inning coming up. The missions lead it 7 to 5. Leading off the inning, Graham Lopez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The Naturals find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location, and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Count even at two and two. Here now the two-two. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Stepping into the box, Tommy Gonzalez. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. Ball one. Now the 1 0. Push softly over toward the right side, and that'll get down for a two out single. Not every ball is going to be hit on the screws right there. That one falls in front of the right fielder for a single. Found some green grass. Into the box, Joe Robbins. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's working on a one for three thus far. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Poirier is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. San Antonio's out in front, seven to five. <laughs> Digging in, Edgar Armas. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. Right fielder. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lifted the other way to left center. McGregor giving chase, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. You always want to start an inning off with a bang, and I'd say this qualifies. He gets a fastball and doesn't try to do too much with it goes with it to the opposite field towards the gap and picks up the leadoff double. Ready now, Bo Duvall. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit to third. Tejada right there. And that's out number one. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Alan Cordoba. First 
first offering on its way. And a good first pitch as he gets him to bounce one on the ground out towards second. And there are two away now. Now with the play, Art Suter. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Armas on third with two out. Line towards center field. Benitez is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out of potential trouble. Riding in to start the ninth, Morris Nobles, and they'll need him to get something going here. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Now the 1 0. That's lifted the other way out to left. <laughs> Moving in, he can't get there as it falls in. Hey, the object of the game is to pass the baton on the offensive side. Give yourself a chance to get the tying run to the plate late in the game. That's exactly what happened here. Ready for another shot now. Rodney Nelson. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. Three and two now. Terrence Gore, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's... Ouch, that one hit him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he could take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Standing in now, Andres Benitez. Owen won the count. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? A throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. But they will not get them both as he beats out the back end and drives home the run from third. First pitch of the at-bat. Off the plate and low here, ball one. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. One and one to count. This one off. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. And it's late his afternoon of work. And the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. When you know a guy has a great changeup on the mound, you've got to be willing to give up full side of the plate from time to time. It just looked like his timing was a smidge off. Well hit, left side. And that is through into left as he delivers. It's a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's an 8-7 to seven game. Boy, not an easy thing to do, Dero, to score. You're down by one going into the ninth. Big base hit right there gives them the lead. Yeah, these are the knocks you remember, Dan. 
coming through for the team right here. Down one run, huge base hit right there. Able to drive in a pair, and now they got to lock it down in the bottom half. There's one. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Fastball way outside, and that's trouble. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Lopez at second with two down. Seared down the first baseline. And that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. And a very important insurance run comes across to score from second. It's now a 9-7 contest. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and to make sure pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a war. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So, boy, the wheels really came off the bus here in the top of the ninth as a huge ninth inning rally has totally changed the complexion of this ball game. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Naturals lead it 9-7. Thomas Mercado takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Ready once again, Ronald Clemente. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. First pitch on its way. High in the air out to center field. Benitez on the move, one down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Enrique Herrera. He's set and the pitch. Hard liner toward short, but unfortunately right at the shortstop for the second out. Digging in and looking for more, Roberto Ruiz. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind in the top of the ninth. Then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss. Nine to seven, the final score in this ball game. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Mark Parsons is credited with the win. Manuel Avilas gave up a whopping nine earned runs in the losing effort. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. And so the final this morning final was line Northwest line Arkansas. Taking a huge deficit lead. In the top of the ninth inning, four runs come across the score, giving them the nine advantage. Well, this will just about be it for this morning for the San Antonio Missions. Taking on the three game set, winning two, but losing one. Well, the missions head home and they get ready to face the visiting Midland Rockhounds. And most likely that will be a pretty good ball game. Well, we are getting ready to have a good day today. Hope everybody enjoyed baseball. It was a pretty good game, but the missions fight it off. Well, the final for this morning is the Northwest Arkansas Naturals 9 and the San Antonio Missions 7.